Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with another FGO reaction and today I'm going to react to two AMVs. Now th this is something that was recommended to me. One of the AMVs has been recommended to me and the other one I picked up myself and this is something related to fate red line okay before we start uh, obviously like i'm going to mention this in the beginning the uh, uh, the audio will be muted because of copyright and i'll be linking down the original uh, video in the description box two of the links and i'll be time stamping the video so that you do not have any problem to actually like you know play the original video alongside my reaction so that you can uh, like you know like like hear the audio because obviously my video will be muted so yeah okay so another thing i have to say here is i've heard a lot about other fate spin-offs but i think this is the first time i've heard anything about fate redline like when like you know someone recommended this to me i didn't even know what fate redline was and i did not check it out still like I've, I know about a lot of other fate uh, spin-offs for example i know about fate strange fate i know about i think it's called fate uh I think it's called Koha Ace or something. There's a manga with uh, like, you know, Okita Soji or something. No, not Okita. Yeah, Okita Soji and Nobunaga, I think. Like that's Koha Ace, I think. Like I know about these, but I've never heard anything about Fate Redline. So I'm very curious as to what this is. I'm going to check the MV out. And if I, like, you know, I'll like kind of like then search it on the internet, what it's actually about, because I'm really curious about it. I have no idea what will be in this MV. So yeah. Now let's see this is really be like a blind reaction because i have no idea what i'm even reacting to so yeah so uh, the first mv that i'm going to react to is uh, fate it's called silhouette and the mv this is the one that was recommended to me so first i'll check this out then i'll check the other one which i kind of chose so yeah without further ado let's get started um, i'll react uh, I'll, I'll check the both the mvs out no i'll check this mv out then i'll kind of talk about it a little and then i'll check the next mv out so here we go. Uh, silhouette, fate. Start. Imperial City, Holy Grail. Is there any subtitles? No. Is this a train? Uh, Nobunaga. That's Nobunaga, isn't it? Oh, Okta. Wait, is this? Whoa! Is this an original animation that someone did? It's impressive then, I have to say. Yeah, that's Okita. And that's no Nobunaga's that skeleton thing. That guy, uh, what was his name? Maxwell, wasn't it? We, we met him in the latest event. In Guda Guda 4. Damn, the song is very... Yeah, Izo and... Oh! We, we also saw Mori here. Yeah, okay. Interesting. Wow, the song. <laughs> Damn, the song is lit. Wow. Yeah, Nobunaga versus Okta silhouette. Okay, uh, is that it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, okay. First of all, I have a few questions. Number one, is this something related to the recent event that we're having? Like Guda Guda 4? Yeah, like we, we saw, uh, I think his name was Maxwell, wasn't it? The caster of, uh, just a sec, uh, the caster. No, the, the, the whole thing with like, I, I'm playing the event, like, you know, in my spare time. So I know what's happening. So the guy with the, you know, the shades, him, like we saw him. So that's why I'm, I'm thinking maybe this is somehow related to this event that we're having. 
that would be a real coincidence like you know i never even knew about this and i decided to check this out and we are having the guda guda 4 event now that would be an amazing coincidence <laughs> and another thing is this somehow related to the koha ace because i think i only knew that uh, like you know the, the manga that uh, had okita soji as the original like you know the, the the main servant is koha ace you know and there was also nobunaga there so is this somehow related to koha ace i'm, I'm quite curious about it so okay so like i think this is, this is called fate red line I'm, I'm going to check it out okay first of all let's talk about this video um Okay, uh, in the beginning, obviously, we see uh, how, like, you know, Okita Soji coming in and the infamous scene of when Saber comes in front of Shiro. Remember in Fate Stay Night, like, are you my master? Like that scene. Uh, we see here this uh, a girl here. I'm guessing she, she's the original master. And she's in a train, I can see. So she summoned Okita in a train. Most probably. And Okita looks pretty, uh, you know, like not like how she acts in fgo she looks pretty serious here you know his her face and everything and we and then like you know the the little bits and portions we can see mori here like a mori nagayoshi i think that was yeah uh mori uh i think we uh, uh the maxwell's the caster we saw we saw um uh, uh, where is he uh ryoma we saw ryoma and oreo as well and yeah we saw Li Xuan as uh, you know assassin Li Xuan as well so all these servants like each and every one of them they are you know involved in the recent event that we're having so let me know in the comments if this is somehow related to that because all these servants could have been like you know uh, there and i would not have thought that yeah this is somehow related to guda guda 4 but i'm thinking this is somehow related to guda guda 4 because maxwell is here we never i don't i don't think we ever had maxwell before did we I don't remember it's like this is the first time we've ever met maxwell so that's why I'm, I'm thinking like maybe this is somehow related to the recent event that we're having let me know and uh, another thing we saw here is there's an old lady here you know in, 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 like in the middle of the amv and there's and there's another guy so yeah obviously like i know nothing about this so I could barely even, I, I, I was barely even to realize what's actually happening, but you know that they're like fighting and Nobunaga was pretty, uh, you know, demonic here, just like her name. <laughs> the, uh, the, the, what else? Just a sec. Um, and we saw a little bit of a uh, i think backstory of the shinsengumi here because when we saw the flag that was actually uh you know the flag that was uh shown i'm guessing that's like the shinsengumi's uh sign or something i'm not sure and another thing i'm quite curious about is this a fan animation if it is then that's really great like, you know this is like you know the animation was really nice i have to say so yeah okay let's let's see the next one oh, let's see the next mv i'm going to talk about it after that so the next mv now this is one that i kind of selected myself because it came as a recommendation uh i mean like not someone recommending this as a recommendation in youtube when i was like you know looking for the first video the silhouette video so this is like an MAD video, Fate Type Red Line, and let's see what this is about. I'm quite curious about this. This has a lot of views as well. So yeah, I'm guessing this is good. So let's start. Here we go. Whoa! The reason. Yeah, there you go, Okta Soji. 1945 <laughs> no okay that's a master i'm guessing who is okay there's, there's another guy here we saw in the previous mv as well wait a minute oh i can probably guess what's happening it's similar to the other stories where there's like 
two person, a male and a female version of the master. Main character, there you go. We can see a train in a lot of the scenes. Whoa! <laughs> Both of the songs are amazing. Yeah, I'm sure he's the master, but in the previous MV, the, the girl was the master. So it's similar to how fate does the masters, you know, there's a male version and a female version. Okay, there she's smiling. She was kind of, they kind of groom him all, all, all of the time, but she's smiling now. Okay, there's a manga, I think. I... I can see that. Whoa. <laughs> Whispering in my ears. <laughs> oh, that's a grandma. Okay, most probably. Whoa. Okay. This is looking really interesting, you know. I hope this gets animated someday. <laughs> oh my god. Fate has so many things, like, you know, it's really. Okay, is that the end? Fate has so many, like, you know, spin offs and all of these that it's kind of impossible to animate each and everything. But, you know, eventually, someday, I hope. Um, okay, so a lot of things I kind of understood after watching this AMV. So the first thing that I understood is most probably, like, correct me if I'm wrong, most probably the girl we saw in the other AMV is a master, obviously. And this, like, you know, in this AMV, we, can, we saw the guy, you know, the guy a lot of the time. So the previous AMV was kind of centered on the girl. This AMV was centered on the guy. So I might be wrong, correct me if I'm wrong, but this is somehow similar to how usually Fate does their masters. For example, in Fate Extra, Fate, Grand Order, there's like two masters usually, but they're actually interchangeable. Like it's either a boy or a girl. Just like, you know, uh, Hakuno in like Fate Extra and uh, uh, in FGO, Ritsuka. So kind of like that. Like, I'm not sure, but I think it's something like that most probably. So yeah. And uh, another thing that we understood here is uh, like this, like everything like is happening here is kind of, I'm guessing similar to the Grail War that usually happens where a master usually gets involved in this whole like you know uh, battle royale thing and they like you know uh, uh, there's like a servant that comes and like protects him or her uh, and in this like you know in this uh, story it's Okita Soji and Okita Soji is like the main servant just like in Fate the main servant is uh, Artoria something like that because we, we, like that that scene was also kind of like we saw the whole scene where you know in fate uh, in fate say night where saber comes out and in like you know in in shiro and shiro was kind of like you know fallen down sitting and shiro looks at him and says that are you my master you know that similar scene we saw here uh so i'm guessing it's something like that like somehow he or she uh in in this like you know in the video somehow accidentally summoned okta soji or something happened like that who knows so yeah now now i'm really curious is this somehow related to fate uh, uh, koha ace because all the characters i think i don't know i'll have to check it out so yeah now as i said like i would love to see this animated because i usually do not read like you know like i usually like my priority is 
more on anime i usually do not read manga that much unless and until a manga is like very amazing and you know like uh sometimes when i feel like it i kind of read some manga new manga like that's just it i usually do not go for manga and whenever there's like the, these type of things where which i'm really excited about for example fate any other anime which i'm really excited about a, a manga comes out i usually do not read that because i i wait for the anime because i want to like you know experience everything with uh, all the visual animations the sound the voice everything i want to get the full experience that's why i usually do not read the manga i i i've known that like you know like uh, fate has a lot of spin-offs there's like koha ace a lot of other mangas i guess as well so i that's why i, I do not like you know read mangas i i wait for the anime to come out uh, like i don't know when it would even come out but someday you know like maybe two or three years later you know so yeah that's what i usually do so that's why i have like you know i've not read koha ace even though i really wanted to read it i did not do not i did not read it i've just kept it so that uh someday the anime comes out and i can experience everything uh for the first time like that's what i usually do and i like you know like this is like after seeing this yeah i <laughs> I hope they really like you know do this because it looks amazing. It really looks amazing. I would really be interested in like you know getting a story where Okta Soji is the main servant, you know, and there's Nobunaga and all the other Shinsengumi members and all the other members uh, like you know other other characters that we saw like Morinaga Yoshi and uh, maybe we will also get um, Kagetora. Who knows? Like we did not see Kagetora here. Maybe maybe she is there. I am not sure. So yeah and uh, yeah that's what i usually do so okay so as i said like this looks really interesting and i'm quite curious as to like i can i could probably like i, I can see that there are a few sections which were kind of like you know uh, taken from the manga you know black and white panels and there's a few sections which were colored which i'm guessing like you know uh, from comes from the panels which some sometimes come out in the manga you know colored panels maybe something like that or maybe the light novel who knows maybe maybe like you know some you know drawing some uh, sections the arts that we saw in the videos are taken from the light novel but it was really like you know amazingly done and props to the person who did this you know animated this and like you know made this amv like it's great the song was amazing as well both of the songs the previous amv this amv as well it, it really meshes with the the visuals that we we were seeing so yeah really great stuff and uh, yeah let's just wait for it to get animated someday another uh, you know uh, what do you call it another fate uh, side story i think that is i'm not sure or maybe it's a spin off that i'm quite interested in and that i would really like to get to see animated it's fate strange fake oh my god like i i think i've heard the author actually saying that yeah we're going to get an animation for this but i would need to, like you know he, he wants to complete the story first something like that he said like, you know he said that i'm like you know he's, he's focusing on the story he's going to end the story after the story ends probably we're going to get an animation I'm really waiting for, like I'm looking forward to that because oh my god like I really want to see <laughs> a story where Gilgamesh is the main character uh, I, I mean the main servant and oh boy like <laughs> like uh, Gilgamesh is amazing obviously and uh, yeah I would love to see that so yeah that's my impression of this okay I'll make a small little search fate red line like i'm really curious what it is actually about fate type red line um fate type red line is a manga written uh imperial capital holy grain uh. oh here you go okay i was kind of correct that means it is revised adaptation of the imperial capital holy grail strange story storyline featured in fate koha is there you go okay so i i'm correct aren't i i think so yeah most probably so it, it is like related to koha ace okay that's what that's the main thing that i was really curious about you know I, because i was thinking like yeah every character is similar to the characters that we have in koha ace so 
like obviously this is somehow related to it so yeah so yeah guys that was it that was my reaction to both of the amvs and uh, yeah that was amazing and <laughs> i would love to see this animated really uh, obviously i could not understand anything because like i have no idea about uh, fate red red line or koha ace i have no idea what's ac what's actually the story even about so like, you know the little scenes that we were being shown with the grandma and all uh, i could not understand anything uh, it must be like you know something must be happening and uh yeah like that's just it so that's why i was barely able to like comment on anything i just like you know the things that i recognized that is the servants and all i kind of commented about them so yeah so this, this was an amazing amv so i'm going to do more amvs like this so if you have any other reaction uh, you know recommendations you can comment down below let me know and i'll do them like you know one by one so so yeah guys uh, thank you guys for watching if you guys enjoyed my reaction be sure to press the like button and also subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed i usually put out fgo or fate related videos uh one or two times a week these type of like you know reactions amvs or if uh like you know new, some new servants come out i react to them all those stuff i do and when like you know the gameplay like you know the gameplay portions come out in fgo i do those as well those gameplay videos so the playlist of my fgo stuff will be given down in the description box you can click on it and you will find all my other fgo related content and uh, comment down below anything you want to say or if like you know like if you have any further explanations about these like i kind of asked a few questions so if you have any answers about like you know if you know uh, what those actually are about you can co comment down below because uh yeah as i said like you know i'm, if you, I'm curious about a few things like oh i kind of got the answer you know like uh, like the, the main curiosity i had was is this somehow related to koha s i kind of got the answer so yeah so comment down below anything you want to say or you know anything you want to let me know i'll check them out so yeah thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next uh, next fgo video so until then goodbye and have a nice day